I'm white and my teammates are black. No justice! No peace! No peace! We don't all go through the same situations. We are so powerful! We are so powerful! We don't have the same experiences. We don't have the same thoughts. I think for people that are from the white community, it's it's about having those uncomfortable conversations, whether it's with myself directly, with my family, with my circle that I touch and maybe my black teammate doesn't touch because they don't have that, that same direct reach. And also knowing that there's a, a time to speak and there's a time to listen and, and really kind of hear my teammates out, hear everything that they're going through and find a way to help be better. What I'm gonna do to make sure that I can pass the torch to the next generation of players in the WNBA is, you know, show them that, you know, I'm not afraid. We are dedicating this season to Brianna Taylor, an outstanding EMT who was murdered over 130 days ago in her home. The WNBA has always been at the forefront of fighting the fight for social justice. Obviously we wanted to play basketball, but in the midst of the racial unrest that was going on in our country, we wanted to make sure that we were playing for, for something bigger than basketball. And we had a very unique opportunity this season where it was, you know, all 12 teams, 144 players, all in one spot. And we were able to really make a stand. We had a lot of opportunities to really make an impact and especially the general election, making sure everybody was registered to vote, the census, and just continuing to educate ourselves on how to be better and passing that along through our platform. We've always been here and you know we're always continuing to fight and I feel like as women, we always have to fight. Dubert actually said it, she's like, you know, we're never looked at as just basketball players. We're always looked at as what we can't do. And, you know, having to always advocate for ourselves and, and for others, and especially being in a league that has 80% of black women, there's so much that we need to fight for. And racism is at the, the top of the list. In a year, we will never forget the Seattle Storm of the team we will always remember. They are your 2020 WNBA champions. It was a wild season, and I think there's a, a whole bunch of different reasons that the 2020 season is going to go down um, in the history books because of obviously what we stood for, what we were able to accomplish, and the things that we did on and off the court. Unanimous MVP for the 2020 WNBA Finals, Brianna Stewart. And then the fact that the finals was, was when I was at my best. You know, you want to kind of put it all together at the end and, and when it's most important. And, you know, I think I did that. We knew that we came to the bubble for more than basketball. And we made sure that we put that pressure on ourselves to continue to, to kind of do what we can. This is a new moment in the history of racial justice, in the history of athletes speaking for racial justice. The 2020 season is going to be a historic one for everything that we stood for, but it can't just be this one season. This is something that should be a part of our everyday lives. I'm not afraid to use my voice. I'm not afraid to make mistakes, and I'm going to continue to educate myself. I want to be able to make a difference and make an impact and be the best person I can be, just like I want to be the best player I can be. But the only way I can do that is if I continue to do what I can and make sure that as our society is hopefully growing, that, that I'm growing too.